Today, Ambrose the Apprentice at the Cretian Pizza Parlor has been given a new job. Pizza Delivery Boy. He has to deliver nice hot pizzas to full addresses. Oh, here's the boss. Ambrose, I want you to fill in the timetable because I want you to do this very quickly. The journey time, you fill in all the times, yes. When you get to the place, write down the arrival Ambrose has to write down the arrival time at each address and how long each bit of the journey takes him. Yes, good boy. The pizza parlor clock says it's quarter past four in the afternoon, but his boss gives Ambrose his mobile phone, which has a 24-hour clock on. The time on the phone says 16.15, which is the same as quarter past four. Don't forget to fill in the timetable. Ambrose goes as fast as he can to the first delivery address, Dave's Motors on Calculator Crescent. Who wanted the pizza? That's me. There you go. Thank you. Enjoy. Sixteen twenty-one. So I left the pizza parlor at sixteen fifteen. It's sixteen twenty-one. 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, that's six minutes. Six. It then takes him 10 minutes to get to the flats on Rhombus Road. He looks at the time. Works out how long it took him and writes down the time on his timetable. Hexagon Hill! It takes 15 minutes to get to Hexagon Hill. There you go. Thank you. Ambrose is really up against the clock now. No time to write anything down but the time. <gasps> Gotta go. Pizzas are getting cold. He still has to get to Perimeter Place. It's 11 minutes away. Will he get there while the pizza is still hot? Will he be able to fill out the missing bits on his timetable? Let's do the maths. Ambrose got a calculator crescent at 1621. Where would the hands be on this clock? It took Ambrose 11 minutes to get to Perimeter Place. The boxes kept the pizzas hot for 45 minutes. Did he deliver the last ones before they got cold? Using the 24-hour clock, can you fill in the missing times on Ambrose's timetable, then convert them to their 12-hour clock times? 